what's up youtube thank you for tapping in with me again today and if you're new to the channel my name is cleveland so uh we are about to start on this 1200 gallon plywood aquarium build now if you're new to the channel you won't know this but right here in this corner of my fish room i plan on building a 1200 gallon plywood aquarium for my saltwater fish now i haven't done any plywood aquariums before so we're going to do this together so I haven't made any kind of diagram or anything like that. I kind of just like made it in my head. I know what I want to do. I know the size that I got to cut, things like that. That's really all you need. You need to know the dimensions and you need to have a saw. I got both of those. So now all I got to do is just cut all the pieces of wood so it don't look like this. Before I do that, let me go ahead and feed some fish because they're quite hungry. And uh, y'all want to see those dough by fest they fry? Take a look. Take a look at the Dovi Feste Fry. Look at how beautiful this fish is right here. Amazing colorations on this fish. Wow, we're ready to eat. So they all share in on the food. Of course, he's getting the majority, but as you can see, they grab their issue when and where they can. Now these guys down here, I know they hungry as well. So let's go ahead and feed them. Look at them. I want to see the bass grab some food. Come on, bass. There you go. Let's see you grab some food. Come on. Grab some. Maybe not comfortable enough to eat yet, but he would definitely get comfortable enough sooner rather than later. Nonetheless, everybody else looking amazing eating the red tiger motor wins right there grabbing that food maybe the peacock bass will grab a piece if it floats down to the bottom i'm not quite sure but who knows there's one right there and you got up out of its way you're gonna have to eat something Alright, but everybody in this tank is doing really, really good. This water looks really good, very clear. Looks so much better now that I have all of those other fry up out of here, right? You about to grab you a piece? No? Back to the back? Maybe next time? Yeah, maybe next time. Alright, so we gotta we gotta feed some more fish real quick. Because we got things to do. That was that Tiger Motor right there that just grabbed that piece. There you go. Hopefully it's a female. That beautiful Pleco right there. You want some more? Give you a couple more pieces. There you go. All right. Our Oscar over here is hungry. Come on. There you go. They're aggressive with it for sure. Look at him. He came a long way. Y'all don't remember how he looked when I first got him? He was in bad shape. But now he's so beautiful. Colors are perfect. Fins are perfect. So this is definitely an amazing looking fish. Such a calm Oscar as well. He's not even aggressive. Just kind of like aggressive towards albino Oscar. They don't like each other. That's why I have them in two separate aquariums. And look at our starry night. Absolutely beautiful. All right. Let's feed these guys over here. 
Y'all hungry, huh? <laughs> yeah, y'all hungry. Let's go. There y'all go. Come on now. There y'all go, yeah. Yeah, everybody's gonna grab some of them pellets at one time or another. The Jack, Green Bay Snook, Red Tail Giant Garami, Vieja, Albino Oscar. This is usually when a catfish come out to eat as well. Come on back, yeah. There you go. This fish is beautiful. Hopefully, there we go. This is a very beautiful giant red tail garami. Look at the red on its tail and its fins. And then uh, the light is off on the pond, but that don't mean nothing. We got a nice handful. Right here. And then they just go at it. Uh-huh. Made quick work of those pellets. Look at the dove eye. So yeah, that's pretty much everybody. All the freshwater fish. Now let's go ahead and get to this pond. All right, first and foremost, let me go ahead and move these packages. This is a delivery. We'll do a video on that a little bit later. This is this is exciting, y'all. So let me uh, let me describe what this is gonna look like to some of the new folks here. So now this is gonna be a plywood aquarium. Already got some pine shield. I know this is not enough. Got a couple, got a couple boxes of this, and I still don't think it's gonna be enough. Nonetheless, got some pine shield. This is a uh, the color is sky blue. color is sky blue so more than likely I bought a three gallon tub should have did that from the start but it don't really matter because I still got to use more of it on the uh, freshwater plywood build that we plan on doing but so we're gonna have a four by four piece of glass right here viewing panel so that way when I'm standing right here from about a foot up, so from about right here to about like right there, it's gonna be all viewing panel. And then about like that wide. So it's gonna be a nice, a nice viewing panel. This whole thing, you're gonna be looking right into the saltwater aquarium. Now the dimensions might seem a little odd, but it's always dependent upon the stocking. So the stocking that I plan on putting in here, this these dimensions will work perfect for. So even though these are some very, even though this is a 1,200 gallon aquarium, it's a tall aquarium. So I want to make sure that I put fish in here that don't need a very extra large footprint. You know what I mean? So um, this is still going to be seven by six. You know what I mean? Four foot, actually five foot of water, 60 inches of water. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get this wood outside. I want to cut it and then uh, we're going to build it. Hey, Papa. Hi. So, fortunately, 
gotta bring out all the wood. All 39 pieces of two by six by eight. Seven piece of plywood. All of it. Scribble a whole clam, give Joker two whole clams, give them in the six in the 55 two clams, and then the, uh, the uh, 125 get two clams. The 125 also get two clams. Yeah, so that's two, four, six, seven clams that you got to Yeah, baby, so many clams. Yeah, baby. All right, so now that we got all the wood moved out, now we got to cut all this wood. Now, make sure that you have ear protection and you have nose protection. You want to make sure that you protect your lungs. So now, we need 20 of these 2 by 6 by 6s now. That's what we need. 20 2 by 6 by 6s. We are going to use about 2 2 by 6 by 7s two, two by six by fives, and then we'll go from there. But let's go ahead and get uh, and get those 20 cut. That's a lot of wood. So, so mark it once, check twice, cut once. So we need 60, we need 72 inches, right here, six foot. take too long especially with me cutting eight at a time all right so uh So I'm pretty much winging it. I got the foundation done, dry fit. Now I need to screw everything together. But that right there, this right here is going to be the foundation. Now this thing is big. I don't know if you can tell, but this thing is, this thing is pretty massive. So they are gonna have a ton of space and I'm still cutting wood. I've never built one before. So again, like I said, I'm doing my best to kind of wing it and get it done the right way. So let's go ahead and uh, screw these together. I'm 
Where's my drill at? Okay, right there. All right, so like I said, so like I said, I'm pretty much winging this thing. We'll see, uh, see how this come out. So this is not gonna be a a step by step tutorial on how to do this because I'm still kind of learning myself. All right. So where's the little screw? There's a little bit right there. So the one thing I like about the one thing I like about these screws right here. So the screws that I'm using is it's a star bit fin trim head screws fin trim head screws now when you screw them in they don't split the wood i'll also have to cut this uh cut the carpet right here so it could actually fit right Right, see that was easy, right? Tack them right on in. So I will put it at the height that I'm going to have it at once I cut that carpet. All right. So yeah, when you, uh, so if you decide to build one yourself, don't really be a, don't really be afraid. Do your research, do your research, take your time and have some fun with it. You do it right, you only have to do it once, so. Let's have fun with it. I'm having fun with it. Once I get all this wood cut, I'll really be having fun with it. Then we'll be in here. No more going back out. Just screw everything together. Can't wait for that. This is actually pretty easy. I haven't... Hopefully I'm not speaking too soon. Hopefully I'm not speaking too soon. So that's all the front. Now I gotta do the back. Do that one over there. So I probably do. Like I said, I'm winging it. So we could do it like that. Put this one right there. right look at that look at that all right so now i gotta find a way i should have did these first All right, y'all. So 
So I gotta redo these. I gotta do the back one first. So, there is the first mistake. But easy enough, didn't get too far into it. Alright. So, that was the first mistake. Make sure you screw this one in first, the back. Otherwise, you have to do what I just did, which is take it apart and redo it. It's not fun. Not fun at all. So, what I'll do is I'll actually bring this on out. Might make it easier to screw it together, you know? I don't have that much working space, so I'm gonna make do with what I have, as I'm sure you will too. But uh, let's get this going. I know we are waiting, it's getting dark. So now, now we're on track. All right. First one. Okay, so now here's the second one. You know what? I know y'all don't want to see this. Let me get all these situated, and I'm going to get back with you when they're done. Well, got this, got the foundation going. So this is just the foundation for the plywood aquarium. Now, I know a bunch of y'all probably thought this thing was small, but uh, this the corner. This the corner. This is really big. I mean, I could walk around in this thing. I mean, this thing is really, it's a nice size. It's a very, very nice size. So uh, when, I, when I dive in, I'm gonna dive in here. When this is done, I'm, I'm diving in this thing for sure. Got to, got to. Anyway, so uh, it's, it's nighttime. If you don't believe me, check it out. Look at that. It's nighttime. 
all the fish are asleep. Got all the wood in here. So tomorrow, we're going to really dive into building the walls and getting this thing completed. But uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. I'm happy with it. I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow. All right. So uh, I got a couple walls in. Now I'm doing the last two. It's hot. About ready for a break. I definitely got to go grab some more wood. Need some plywood, like I said. And uh, I don't know what else yet. This is tedious. It's very, very tedious. Go ahead and get this one into the, get this one inside, and then uh, I'll do the last one. All right, so. We got the framing in place. It's the first one. So let me go ahead and secure this one. And then we'll move on to the next. Don't be too, don't be scared about putting a lot of screws in this part. This is, uh, this is what really matters. Now we get into the walls. I'm putting at least at least two to three in each section. What well, really counts? This thing is dying. I knew it was dying. So the heat make this thing make it die faster. So that's the first wall. We gotta get a new battery. Couple spare batteries. All right, so now that I got that one into place, let's go ahead and do this one right here. And then we'll do this one. I gotta cut the wood for that last one. And I got the front, but we'll wait on that. tall right oh you can't even really see it trust me it's tall
right, so now let's go ahead and do this side. It's going to be kind of hard to get the outside with a piece of plywood though if I do this side first. So, yeah, I need a piece of plywood on that. Well, so a couple things. This is where you would paint the outside first before you start putting it all into place. I'm not gonna do that. Really should. Oh well. another wall up screw it in screw it in on the bottom. Right. Just like this. Coming together, y'all. Reminds me. I don't know what I'm doing. Kind of winging it. I know what I'm doing, but I have never done this before. So I kind of don't know what I'm doing. Nothing to brag about. But I have been planning this for quite a long time. So now that's that's the entire, that's the, all the walls minus the front entrance right here. So let's go ahead and do this front entrance and then uh, we're going to take a break. All right, so now I have the front wall finally up. Now, it's not downhill, but you know what I mean? This is a, this is a good thing, a real good thing. So, currently I'm just putting a few of these screws down, but best believe, I do plan on going back around and loading up screws everywhere to make sure this thing holds together. I think it's very important that you do that. Woo! 
this battery died quick. Better go get these on a the charger. Might end up needing them. Let's do this side. Did I tell you I was winging it? Yeah, I told you. So yeah, it's coming together. My, my main concern is that, do it hold water? And that's what I'm going to make sure it does. I'm going to go crazy with the fiberglass and the pond armor to make sure this thing does not leak at all. There, we are there, y'all. Long overdue, this bad boy is here. This is, this is pretty big. It's not huge, but it's tall. It's good. It's good. I like it. So, that being said, we got some uh, got some more things that we got to do. This bad boy is this thing is here. It's here. It's good. So now let's go ahead and put the sheet, put the plywood up wherever we can, and. Uh, then I also put these screws down everywhere I needed to. I'll do that first. Check it out. 
The thing about plywood aquariums, you can't really go wrong as long as they hold water. So I have some areas that's a little higher because the floor is uneven, but it's not going to make a difference. But look how tall this thing is. It's insane, right? Man, that's not even tall enough, y'all. Oh, what? It's taller than six foot. I'm gonna have to do something else up there then. Okay. Huh. It's taller than six foot. Wow. That's because those pieces of two by six didn't calculate that so when you cut your wood calculate two and a half inch calculate two and a half inches add that to your cuts I'll figure something else out. Not a big deal. Again, when it's plywood, you really do got options. It's what you make it. So it's gonna look a little something like that right there. Just like that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start screwing this stuff in. As you can see, I got a lot of wood to wrap, but I'm gonna get back with you when I'm done. All right, y'all. Y'all ready? All right, check it out. So that's, let me record. So this right here is the footprint. Now this thing is a beast. thing is a beast huh so yeah it would be nice if we had a big window a six foot by four foot but I guarantee that's gonna that's gonna be dollars so we're going to do four foot so let's go ahead and give you an idea so that's a perfect width but let's go ahead and give you a height so let's go it's gonna be about like that tall so four feet I think in fact, let's go a little bit lower. 
about, about right there. Maybe could you come over? I want to see how that's going to look. Because when I stand down there below, I want to almost be at like, oh, that's, oh, wow. That's covering you up for sure. Definitely. Okay, so I'm thinking about right there, y'all. So that's going to be, so, so step back again. So that's four foot. So we lose what we got. We got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine inches to the top. Perfect. And then let's see. And we got about 15 inches from the bottom. Perfect. It makes sense. Two foot, right? So that is amazing. Now, this thing is not as big as I wanted it to be, but it's pretty fucking sick, is it not? You know what I mean? It's going to be really nice. Nice corner tank. We're going to make sure we have the appropriate stocking in here. We're not going to go crazy. And uh, they're either going to be able to go in here. They could go in here. If we need to move, make this a fresh water, make, turn this fresh water into salt water, we can. But nonetheless, they are going to have a massive massive space yeah come on out yeah go in you go in there i come on out look at that yeah that's it's a nice size y'all it's a nice size anyway i know a bunch of you been waiting on this build i've been winging it for the last two days but we got this part done so the next thing i need to do is i'm going to fiberglass the shit out of this thing like i'm going to go crazy with it i don't believe that it makes sense to be cheap with the fiberglass, with the resin, and then of course, you don't be cheap with the pine shield. So we have a few things that we gotta do on this thing, but guaranteed, I'll tell you right now, when I'm done with this, it is not gonna, it's not gonna leak, cause I'm not gonna cut corners with anything. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know y'all been waiting on this hill. I've been waiting on it too. So here it is, one more time. We got our 1200 gallon, corner salt water plywood build this is part one Let me, uh, uh, get you some get you some working out up in here uh, yeah i mean uh, get you some, uh, can't do a one-hander anyway i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you learned something i hope that you were inspired by something i hope that you were entertained by something if y'all enjoyed the video if you like the video do something for me like the video. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.